Hi, I'm George Hinson and this is my Masters Project video. The project focused on textual development and how it can manipulate senses of temporality in music. This was based from the compositions of three Icelandic media composers, Johan Johansson, Oliver Arnolds and Hilda Gudnadottir. I analysed the works of these three composers before creating an artefact of my own which blended the techniques and devices that they had used to manipulate temporalities. So what is the difference between time and temporality? Whilst time is objective and we can measure with a clock, temporality is a subjective passing of time. The phrase, time flies as you're having fun, would be a prime example of temporality, where each individual experiences time passing slightly differently. The first composer I studied was Johan Johansson, who scored Arrival, Sicario, The Theory of Everything and Prisoners, to name a few. He also collaborated closely with Hilda Gudnadottir, who scored Chernobyl as well as Joker and won awards for both of these. The final composer I studied was Oliver Arnolds, who is most famous for his score for Broadchurch and more recently Defending Jacob, among his other non-media compositions. Each of these composers uses textual variation and development to manipulate the senses of temporality within their compositions. Johann's score for Arrival creates cyclical time with use of a tape loop. Graphs such as these were created through analysis to show textual development, stasis and movement within the temporalities of musical compositions. Hilda's score for The Pump Room was one of the most static pieces of music that I analysed. As you can see, there is very little textual development, which creates a great sense of stasis within the music. Oliver Arnolds creates different ideas of temporality within his score for Broadchurch, which employs textual swells to create wave-like motions in the movement of the piece. To create the artefact, I needed to blend different techniques from each composer. To start with, I recorded found sounds in different locations. This was based off of Hilda Gudnadottir's use of found sounds in her score for Chernobyl, which was recorded entirely from found sounds in a factory. I then began the composition process based on what I had found out in the analysis of the works of the composers and different ideas of textual development and temporality within music. The artefact consisted of three different compositions, each aiming to explore different ideas of temporality through textual developments in the music. To conclude the video, I have skimmed through some of the audio recordings from my compositions. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to hearing your comments on the project.